I like days like yesterday, Wolf, where like we know that the trade deadline is during our show, right? I, I just I like stuff like that. Like we got to try to put together the what the playoff rotation is going to look like as as we were doing the show, like on the fly after they made the trade. You love that energy. I just yeah, I just like I like the unknown. I like the spontaneity. But now we have uh, you know some audio from people like Frank Vogel and, and their reactions. That's the one thing you don't have in a situation like that because it's all happening in real time. This is uh, Frank Vogel, his thoughts on the newest additions to the Phoenix Suns last night. We're really excited about the guys we have coming in. You know, uh, Royce O'Neal and David Roddy, two guys that we, we really feel like are going are gonna to help us. Um, I love that Matt Ispia is willing to, to spend even more and do whatever it takes to, uh, to give us the best chance to win an NBA championship for this city. You know, I mean, he's just all in on that. Um, you know, this was a deal that, that, that cost us more money, but it's something that, uh, you know, in particular with, with Royce O'Neal, who's, who's a, a high-level role player, has been a starter for the better part of the last uh, five years or so, and um, on, some, on some good teams too, some really good teams. Number one seed team in, in Utah a few years back. Um, just an exceptional defender, exceptional uh, three-point shooter, and a winner. You know, and uh, to get somebody like David Roddy, who is, you know, just elevates our toughness and intelligence. He's a smart player and, and very physical, uh, represents who we want to be, and was a first-round pick two years ago. You know, so, I mean, he's a, he's a really, really talented young man that uh, we're excited to get in our program. Man, where do you begin? Where do you begin on this? I'll tell you, I, I don't know how much David Roddy will see in the playoffs. I mean, he's still very young, still very early in his yeah. career. First-round pick in 2022. But... What Frank Vogel said there at the end about him, that he's smart and physical, and that's what we want our team to be. I mean, I think that's not the Frank Vogel. He's usually pretty straightforward for a coach, but I mean, that's very much like this is what we want our team identity to be, smart and physical. Yeah, you know, for me, um, just listening to what Frank had to say there, and not only that, but just reading more and more and more on Royce O'Neal. Man, I, I, I've i got to tell you, I'm a little smitten <laughs> on Royce O'Neal right now based on the more that I read about him as a, not just the player, but the person as well. Um, it's filling me with an expectation level where maybe I should just back off a little bit right now on Royce O'Neal and let him ease in to the well, rotation <laughs> at some Wolf's point in time. expecting 40 uh, I, points in the, in the first game with like this, 18 rebounds. I honestly think this is exactly what the Phoenix Suns need. Here's, um, here's David Locke, jazz play-by-play guy uh, talking about Royce O'Neal. <laughs> So he's a free agent, undrafted out of Baylor, and he comes to a training, like a free agent camp at the Jazz. And it's a morning and an afternoon session. In the morning session, they're all playing, and they find a tooth on the floor. And no one's copping to whose tooth it is. So finally, they figure it out. And it's Royce's. Royce has had his tooth knocked out. He hasn't said a <laughs> word to anyone at all. So finally, they tell Royce, you, you can't keep playing. Like, you had a tooth knocked out. we got to take you to the doctor and get it fixed. And Royce plays the night session. That's Royce O'Neal. That's how tough he is. He plays the night session. He ends up, we end up signing him, and he ends up becoming, building an NBA career out of it. The second one I would tell you about him is there's certain guys in this league that you hit, and it's soft. Certain other guys that, you know, just you hit Royce O'Neal, it's like hitting a wall. And you'll watch it now. Every single time someone drives into Royce O'Neal, they'll, they're, whoa, what did I just hit? And the guys on the team used to talk about it all the time. Like, oh, man, driving into Royce O'Neal is just hitting a brick wall. So you're getting that toughness, that physicality. He's also a great dude. And you're also getting his mom, who's one of the single greatest characters in the world, with the biggest <laughs> smile. And I'm just bummed we're not playing Phoenix again because I want to give her a hug. Well, that was, that was pretty <laughs> definitive. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Does that feel good right there? This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what the Phoenix Suns needed a little physicality, a little bit more physicality, a little bit more toughness. Oh my goodness, a little bit more defense. Man, this this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. I heard this with Tim Ring. Tim Ring actually talking to what is this guy's name David Locke. again? David Locke. Yeah. Okay, David Locke right there, okay? Um, talking to him about Royce O'Neal and getting that kind of perspective, it just, um, yeah, it fills me with an expectation that I should probably back off and lower that expectation a little bit. But Royce O'Neal is going to fill exactly what I think 
the Suns need. You, the physicality, the toughness, the intensity. Have you heard one thing about Royce O'Neal in the last 24 hours that you don't like? No. In fact, it all seems it, <laughs> the way he's being described, especially there, it's like they created him in some sort of like basketball chamber and they were like, okay, let's put all the ingredients that Wolf wants in a player for the <laughs> Suns. All right, this is who we're going to have. Now, I want to play these two because this is Kevin Durant after the game. We were talking about this yesterday. KD was Royce O'Neal's teammate at the start of last year. So, again, it's it's my belief that they don't trade for a guy like this unless KD's like, yeah, that guy's going to fit here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he talked about what he likes about Royce O'Neal. IQ, um, play with guys that can score the ball uh, almost his whole career. And, uh, you know, underrated passer, can shoot the basketball. You know, just, just a basketball player, to be honest. Like, you know, a positionless basketball player. That's going to help us out and, and fit in, you know, so I'm excited about him. I, I love being around Royce and can't wait to keep building with him as a as a person first and then as a teammate. And he talked about how he'll specifically fit in with the Suns. Yeah, yeah, I mean, being able to guard a few positions, being able to initiate and be a connective small ball, you know, four, three, you know, a guy you could throw the ball to and have him initiate the offense to get guys going. He can play in the pocket a little bit and make those passes as well. Uh, but he just plays extremely hard. Loves the game, loves his teammates, and I think people in the Valley are going to love watching him. I just don't think he's on this team if Kevin Durant, who played with him last year, didn't think he should be on this team. Yes, um, people are saying he's an excellent wing defender, as we all know, of course. He can guard one through four. He's tough. He doesn't mind the dirt and grind of playing a specialized role. He isn't worried about his touches. He isn't concerned about playing starters minutes. He knows what and who he is and takes great pride in doing his job man i we got a winner i feel really really good about that the more and more that i'm told about him the more i hear about him and the more i read about royce o'neill this is ding 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 thanks for watching wolf and luke tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to arizona sports